Oh, okay, sir. Thank you. A very good evening, sir. I is my great yeah. privilege to welcome our resource person, Dr. Morli Darkorni. Currently, he is working as Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Anthalakshmi Institute of Technology and Sciences, Anantapura. He received his MSc degree in Computer Science and MTEC in Computer Science and Engineering and PhD in Computer Science and Engineering from JNT UA, Anantapura. And he is ratified as Assistant Professor for Engineering Stream by JNT UA, Anantapura in 2017. He has been awarded as Outstanding uh, reviewer and a recognized reviewer for Elsevier's FGCS journal in 2017. He was awarded as for best paper in IEEE conferences and national conferences. Has got best reviewer award for CCBPR 2018. He has published many papers in many conferences and international journals. Thank you, sir. I'm heading over the session to uh, Murlidhar Kunni, sir. Yeah, ma'am. Thank you for that nice introduction. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. So, how many participants are there nearly? Around 280, sir, please. 280. Okay. That's a great number. Okay. So, I heartily welcome all the participants for my session. And so myself, Dr. Murlidhar Kurni uh, from Ananda Lakshmi Institute of Technology Sciences, Anandapur. I'm working as an associate professor here in the CS department of CSC. And also, I'm a senior member of IEEE. And today, my topic is on the applications of machine learning from day-to-day -day life. And just before going to start my session, I want to make it clear that uh, I'm not going into the technical details. Just I want to uh, give awareness on where we are using machine learning. Even though we are not aware of that we are using the machine learning, but Daily, uh, at some point of the time, every person may be using the machine learning applications. And I'm going to provide a glance of all these applications, uh, machine learning applications used by common man today in this modern era. So uh, this is not a technical thing. This is an awareness uh, on the applications of machine learning. Right? So we all know machine learning is a branch of AI. Dr. Murli, can you yes, share the yes. screen like a PPT? Can no, you share? PPT it? is not shared. Not shared, please. Uh, one second. Is it visible, sir? No. Yes, yes, it is visible, sir. Go yes, to sir. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we all know uh, the brief definition of machine learning, or also we are aware of machine learning. So machine learning is a, a branch of AI. Uh, by using these machine learning algorithms, we can make the devices learn on their own, and they need uh, no explicit programming. Generally, whenever you want to make device to do some predefined task, generally we do, we write some programs. With the help of the program only, we will get the desired output. But when you apply this machine learning, then there is no need for writing explicitly programs. Machine learning can help the device to learn on its own and it can take decisions on its own. So machine learning makes the device intelligent, or we call it as a smart, smart device or a smart machine. So with the help of uh, some historical data, we make the machine to learn itself and to take decisions itself. So it is a great advantage came from this machine learning technology. So this is just a brief about machine learning. Now directly I'm going to pitch into the applications of this machine learning. See, daily, uh, we are getting number of mails and we already know that there is a spam folder in our mail. It may be Gmail or any other mail. Generally any mail contains one spam folder. 
do you never uh, do you ever think that how these mails are categorized as spam mails and non spam mails so generally if you open some spam folder in your mail you get some mails uh, which are uh, filled in this spam folder that means these mails may be somewhat uh, malicious or somewhat unrelated to us or which may spread some viruses or some uh, hazards to our system so these mails without our knowledge without knowing to us some mails are automatically moved to this spam folder do you ever uh, think that how this happens so how this mail software is going to identify that some incoming mails are spam mails so this application everyone knows everyone who is having a email account everyone knows that they get emails to their inbox and some mails are directly moved to this spam so this is one this is one yes please Doctor Murli, ah, Doctor Murli, you are muted. Please unmute yourself, please. Is it okay? Yes, oh, yes, okay. you are audible, please. Yeah. So I will go back again. Okay, is my audio is okay? Yes, sir, it's is audible, my audio sir. okay, sir? Yes, okay. sir, it's audible, sir. <laughs> okay, done. Thank you. So we know that uh, machine learning is a branch of AI uh, where uh, we train the machines to work as a smart machine. Smart machine means they take decisions on their own, and the programmers need not to write any explicit program. We give some data sets. For the device, and we train the device on these data sets, and we train the device how to take a decision based on the input data. So, once the training is done with the machine, the next time when you give a new input by the training which we have given to the machine, now the machine can take its own decision. So, that is the flexibility came from this machine learning tech. So by applying machine learning techniques, we can make the machines smart, smart or intelligent. Clearly means that they can take decisions on their own without any explicit instruction given by the programmer or the user. So this is the a brief about the machine learning. And now let me uh, present one a very a known application of machine learning. See, everyone is having one email account and everyone get emails daily. And if you clearly observe your email or Gmail, you have a number of folders in that and one folder will be there that is a spam folder. So when you go into the spam folder, you find some mails there. So this means that uh, we didn't move any mail to the spam explicitly, even though you didn't move a particular mail to the spam folder, the machine or the system automatically moves some mails, some emails, some incoming emails into the spam folder. So you may wonder, uh, I didn't move any mail, but how this mail is moved to the spam folder. So this is done by the machine automatically. That means that the machine is trying on the categories of the mails. It is going to categorize the mails that you are going to give some factors. When an incoming mail satisfies these factors or this criteria, 
then this can become a spam mail. That means it may give some, like it may have some hazards or it may be uh, some problematic for the system or device. It may contain some virus. So that, or it may be unrelated uh, mail for me. So this kind of mails are automatically moved to the spam folder. That means you didn't move any mail. System has moved it to the spam folder. So now the question is how the system has done it? The answer is the system is trying using this machine learning technique. That means we train the system by giving some criteria. And if a incoming mail satisfies this criteria, that may become a spam mail. So the system will automatically move that mail, incoming mail to the spam folder. So this is one very, uh, very uh, general, typical application. Everyone knows, uh, everyone sees uh, in their mail accounts. So this is one of the very simple and very uh, familiar example of this machine learning. And now I will move to the various other examples of machine learning, which we encounter in our normal day-to-day -day life. And you can see I have a list of <coughs> applications of machine learning. And in my presentation, I will cover all these areas and applications of machine learning. So let's move to one by one <coughs> now. So coming to this uh, traffic predictions. So everyone nowadays, uh, whenever you want to travel, by default, everyone generally use this GPS. So the days are gone where uh, there is no, uh, there is no application of GPS while you are traveling. Because by the GPS, the traveling becomes very easy, very flexible. You can you can travel on your own without asking any other. Just on your GPS, on your mobile, and the mobile will show you what is the best route and what is the traffic jams, where is the traffic jams, and how much time you will take, what are the alternative routes. And for every route, it calculates some time, some uh, destination reaching time. So everything is ready on your mobile. Just when you open your GPS uh, on your mobile. So how this becomes so simple? Just you open your mobile, you give some destination and starting address, you are getting the total information of the traffic. What are the routes? What are the fastest routes? Where the traffic jams? Uh, which route gives the best mileage? And which route gives you the shortest time? So everything, everything is readily available on your mobile screen. So how it is possible? The answer is the machine learning. That means the Google, actually Google provides us this GPS. So last year, maybe some of you are aware that uh, Google has revealed that how they are using the machine learning in their apps, especially in this uh, GPS. So machine learning, with the help of machine learning, the Google has able to train the system to give you the best route or to give you the alternative routes or give you the knowledge of traffic jams, give you the knowledge where you can find the restaurants, uh, where you can find the fuel stations. So everything is done by your machine learning algorithms, which work in the background of your mobile application. So this much of flexibility, this much of knowledge, this much of information is only possible with the help of machine learning. And this is a very general application. Most, maximum, everyone use, uses in their daily life. So anyone want to travel in the previous day? want to travel, you need to find out what are the routes in prior, uh, how much time it will take. So everything needs to be known in prior. But nowadays, there is no need. Just you start before starting, open your uh, location and just uh, open your maps. You are automatically gu guided by the system. So this much of uh, genuine information, this much of 
right information, this much of flexibility is can only done by your uh, machine learning algorithms. The system is trained by the machine learning and number of algorithms are running in the background. And with the help of these algorithms and the train given by the given to the system, you are able to get the knowledge of the traffic. So this is one very general application of machine learning. And you can also have this online uh, transportation networks. You may uh, if you want to travel to some place, you want to have uh, want to book a cab. So just you can open your Uber. Uh, so you can get uh, when you just view the prime uh, the destination you want to go, then automatically the application will give you number of options, number of uh, vehicles to select, and what will be the price, and what will be the best price, and if you want to reduce your uh, expenses, it also offers you some sharing facility. So everything is again readily available on your uh, mobile screen. So all this happens again uh, because of this machine learning. So you can anybody, I think everybody may use Uber or Ola, at least Rapido, so in their life. So they are feeling very flexible uh, to travel to some destinations all this happens all this happens only because of the machine learning uh, which is going to play a big role back in the background so this uber and vola or rapido all these transportation networks are using machine learning in the background so this is also one known application many people may have used it in their daily lives right so I will move to the next one. Now, coming to the very interesting application. So everybody may have their social media accounts. And, but the social media is totally run with the help of the machine learning. Because when you take a social media, you find huge amounts of data, huge amounts of data. And this data can be used to train your device or your app to give you the right information on the social media. There are many applications of this machine learning in the social media services. Let me go one by one. Yes, sir. Is there any disturbance? So sorry, sir, for the interruption, sir. Dr. Mulidharan, sir, please unmute yourself, sir. Sir, it's not audible, sir. Please unmute yourself, sir. Okay, now it is okay. It is automatically getting muted. I know. Okay, 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 sir. Sorry, thank you. Uh, please let me know once it is muted, please. Okay, sir. Share, sir. Share, sir. So, can I continue from here or I can I go back? Sir, actually, the uh, okay, sir. From this, can I continue? Continue from this way, sir. Okay, okay, done. Okay, sir. Thank so you. now, uh, let me go through the various machine learning applications of for social media right and so this is one uh, people you may know so for example uh, generally uh, if you generally if, if your mobile is having a true color and i personally observed this that's why i'm saying so whenever you have a true color on your mobile and you have a facebook account for example, for example, uh, if you dial a number, uh, for example, you're taking some Ramesh. So I, I dial Ramesh uh, through true color uh, three, four times or uh, frequently or at least uh, two, three days. I continually dial 
Ramesh number from my true color. Then after some days, after four or five days, definitely when you open your Facebook, definitely you will get some friend suggestions with the name Ramesh. Ramesh, some Ramesh Kumar, or some Ramesh Kumar, uh, Ramesh XYZ, right? With all these Ramesh names, you get some Facebook friend suggestions. That means what going on the background? This machine learning is going to observe what are the uh, dials you are doing, to whom you are doing, and whenever you dial a particular person, some uh, number of times, for example, five or six times, the system may understand that he may be your friend, and it picks up all the uh, people names matching with Ramesh, and then it gives some suggestions on the Facebook to add this that person if he is a friend to you. So this happens only with the help of the machine learning only. So in the background, the machine learning algorithms are observing what you are doing with your mobile, to whom you are dialing, to whom you are messaging, and based on your contacts, based on your dial, is going to pick up some names in the Facebook and is going to give you some suggestions to add friends. So this is also one, uh, actually this application excited me. So this happened personally to me. Once I dialed a friend, uh, a new number, a new number I got, and I dialed him uh, uh, three or four times daily. I have a talk with him uh, three or four times daily. Then after four or five days or after a week, suddenly I got a notification on the Facebook. And that notification says that this is the Ramesh and he is, you know him, you can add him as a friend. I nearly wondered how these algorithms are working in the background. So this is one uh, excellent application I have gone through in my uh, in my life. So this is one great application of this machine learning for the social media, especially. And coming to this next application of the social media. Now is my voice audible? Let me check once. Yes, sir. It's audible, sir. Okay. If it is muted, please let me know, ma'am. Sure, sir. Sure, sir. I will check. Yeah. And coming to the next application, uh, see here, face recognition. So, for example, uh, take the Facebook, and if you uploaded a, any uh, picture or a passport size uh, picture of your friend, then based on that picture, the Facebook uh, picks number of people who matches with this picture and provide a list of suggestions for you, friend suggestions for you. So that means the machine learning is working in the background. It is performing some image processing and it is extracting some features from the image and these images are matched with the other people, other people's image who are there in the Facebook and those people who matches with this image features those lists will be generated to you as a friend suggestion. So this is also one uh, excellent application of this machine learning. Just upload a photo and you get some suggestions uh, who matches to this uh, photo. So in the background, here also in the background, the machine learning is working. So this is also one beautiful application of the machine learning. So without any, uh, you doesn't know the name, you have one image of your friend, just upload the image and you get number of uh, friend suggestion, number of people who match it. So this, it happens instantly, right? So that the background is a machine learning, that's why it happens instantly. The background, lots of machine learning algorithms, uh, which, are, uh, uh, which are doing image crossing and everything. And coming to the next application, that is a, a Pinterest. So everybody, uh, some people may have accounts in Pinterest. So which is going to recommend some similar images. So when you open some image in a Pinterest, and the next time the Pinterest will recommend you the similar 
uh, images. For example, if you open a quote, an image which is having a quote uh, in the Pinterest account, then after that, the Pinterest will you provide you some similar uh, images with the similar quotes. That means the machine learning is going to identify what are your preferences, what are the images you are uh, preferring, what are the images you are viewing, what type of images you are opening, and based on your history, that means what you have done in the Pinterest uh, site, that, that algorithm is going to identify and going to provide you some similar uh, image recommendations. So this is also one a very uh, fantastic uh, application of this machine learning, Pinterest. And these are the three different uh, applications of machine learning, especially in the domain of social media. Uh, Facebook is one and Pinterest and many others. And coming to the next one. So next application of machine learning. So everybody nowadays uh, are practicing doing their purchases through online. So many people get their uh, required things through Flipkart or Amazon, Vintra. So everyone nowadays, uh, they are uh, trying to order uh, these things from online only. So uh, we have stopped going to the, most of the people have stopped going to the market uh, shops. So just sit on your laptop, sit in front of your laptop and just order it online. So now this is the trend uh, nowadays going on. So you see, so when you go, uh, when you go to your Flipkart or uh, Amazon, you gone through uh, some things uh, which you are interested to purchase. And if you ordered some particular uh, object, and in the next time, when you once you op once you order an object, and you place the order, and next time. When you open again the Flipkart, the Flipkart app or website is going to give you some recommendations of the products which you have purchased previously. That means, for example, uh, one time I purchased one wallet. For example, consider that I purchased one wallet and I have ordered it. And after uh, next time when you open your uh, Flipkart, uh, the Flipkart is going to give you some recommendations on different uh, types of wallets, with the different designs, uh, with the different prices. That means how this is happening. Again, the hero in the background is the machine learning. So machine learning is going to observe what are your purchases, uh, what are the items you ordered, what are the items you added in the cart, and what are the uh, items you have browsed and based on this history of data, it collects all the data, all the browsing data you have done with a particular app like Flipkart or Amazon. And it is going to know your preferences. It is going to know your likes and dislikes. It's going to know which products you like, uh, which product you won't like. So based on all this historical data, then it is going to give you the recommendation. This product may suit you. This product is now available. This product is the best one, having a best price. And your friend, so on so friend, has also purchased this product. You can also purchase it. So like that, it gives lots of lots of recommendations. So shopping becomes very easy uh, with this. Shopping becomes very easy. There is no need to search uh, for each and every product. We can we can depend on the recommendations because it is recommending me the right things. It is recommending me the right products. It is recommending me the things which I want. It is recommending me the products which I like. So the shopping, the online shopping becomes very easy, very simple, very fast with the help of these recommendations. So all this then only with the help of this machine learning algorithm, which works in the background, trying to know, trying to process my data. And based on my data, it is going to recommend the products for me. So this is also one application of this machine learning in this online purchases. And so this everyone knows Siri, Alexa, and Google. 
so nowadays uh, most of not more i can't say most of the people but some people uh, may be using it this uh, theory so the people who are very busy with their uh, daily schedules uh, they may not able to remember uh, the day schedules because for example you take a, a person in the high cadre uh, high cadre people like uh, like prince calls or uh, chairmen or uh, some hoods these people may having lots of lots of works to do in their daily life so what they do they can't remember they can't make a note in the diary sometimes it make difficult to note and remember uh, daily schedules and the important things they need to attend so this is manually this will be a very hectic task so but when you take the apply application of machine learning this becomes very easy so whenever you feed all the your uh, schedule when you feel all this for example uh, i can say one more example you can you see the google calendar right so you can also make a note in the google calendar and automatically the google calendar will give you a notification for the particular event of an hour before for example today uh, i want to deliver a lecture and i have a session today so i just uh, made a note in my google calendar by 5 o'clock i have a session like that i have given a note in the google calendar by 4:30 i got the notification and it reminding me that get ready for the session you need to deliver a lecture at 5 o'clock so like that we are getting the notifications automatically the only thing is just you need to feed the data so this siri alexa and google now are simply google calendar or outlook calendar so all these what they are doing they are taking the note of the various schedules of a particular user and these are going to remind you uh, every time some half an hour or one hour before the particular schedule or we can also we can ask them what is my schedule for today and also not only our schedules we can also get the very general information for example if you want to travel we can ask the siri what are the different flights available today for me for example i want to travel from bangalore to hyderabad now just i can ask the siri siri kindly let me know what are the flights today i, I need to travel by 8 o'clock so the siri will give you in a voice command in a voice command this is also one beautiful application it gives not a textual information this use in a information in the voice form so how this happening again the background is machine learning so the machine learning is getting all the data of different different things and whenever you are asking for a particular thing it is going to get that and it's going to present it for the user required fashion so the background is again the machine learning is working so with the help of this siri alexa and uh, google now google calendar outlook calendar you are getting your own information your schedules your plans your tours your travels your trips and also you are getting some very typical information very general information of most of the things in the world you can ask the siri to play a song you can ask the siri uh, to let me know the timings of the trains or you ask the siri to book a ticket for a uh, show for a movie so you can do most of the things uh, with these uh, virtual personal assistants and how these are doing all this for you the only thing is with the help of the machine learning with the help of machine learning all these going to be happen right so this is one of the other beautiful application of this machine learning <laughs> no so so this is already i have covered <clears throat> so you can have nowadays we can have this uh, smart speakers uh, maybe you know that smart speakers smart phones mobile apps so all these are nowadays this they are working with the help of all these are becoming smart smart means they are becoming intelligent they are doing works on their own for you 
So all these done with the help of uh, machine learning only. So this time check whether that is muted or not. Right. Next, I will move to the next one. This we already discussed it in the starting of the session. Email filtering, email filtering and uh, malware filtering. So this I have told that uh, this spam files or spam mails are automatically identified or categorized by your machine. And this identification or categorization is done with the help of this machine learning. We will train the system with some features. And whenever a particular mail matches those features, that mail is identified as a spam and that is moving to the spam folder. So reducing the trouble to you, reducing the trouble to your system uh, with this type, with this type of uh, uh, spam files or uh, spam emails identification. So this is also one general application. And coming to the next one. So online customer support. So that means uh, simply you can say a chart box. So for example, uh, generally, if you visit some sites, for example, when you visit a college site or whenever you visit a university website, that website contains lot, lot of information. It may contain the information on the academics, courses, syllabus, examinations. So it will be sometimes difficult for the user to browse to the required information. So sometimes it may be difficult for the user to identify the tab to identify the menu or submenu where he can find his desired information. In that time, we can take the help of the chart board. A chart board looks like a window, a window in one corner of your website screen, and you can you can uh, submit some queries. For example, if you visit a university website, you may ask the chart board by typing a message that what are the courses available. And when will be the entrance test? What is the fee pattern? Uh, what, are, what, are the, uh, what are the placements uh, uh, got in the previous year? So like that, this general information can be available instantly without browsing or without going walk through to the website. Just by giving a query instantly, the chart board is going to provide you the uh, required information. So how this happens? So how your queries are answered or how you are getting the answers for your queries instantly or the right answers, how you are getting. Again, all this happens with the, only the, with the help of this machine learning technique. The machine learning is going to gather all the information about your university. Whenever you give a query and it's going to relate the query with the data and that data is going to be fetched back to the user. So this type of uh, flexibility is possible with the chart board and the technology behind this chart board is the machine learning itself. Again, the machine learning is going to give you this type of flexibility for the customer or for the user who is uh, logging into a website or whenever you call some customer care executive. Nowadays, uh, whenever we have some problem, generally what we do, we we'll directly call to the helpline. And sometimes uh, we may have a myth that uh, the opposite person who is answering to me, that means the person who is answering to me from the customer support, we feel that generally we feel that he is a human being. But most of the times, most of the times, the opposite person, the person who is answering from the other side, may be a chart board. That means the chart board is exactly answering to you like a human being. That means the chart board is capable of understanding your queries, understanding your commands, what are the information you require, and it returns you back with the right information, right answers. That means this, it is totally uh, replacing the uh, human. That type of uh, intelligent chart boards are also possible today. 
are also now we are working with those type of chart boards. Sometimes you may not identify or you may not isolate whether you are talking with a human or you are talking with a machine. That type of intelligence can be given to a machine only with the help of this uh, machine learning, right? So here also we are using the application of the machine learning for this customer care. And coming to the next application, that is search engine uh, result refining. So whenever uh, nowadays everyone, whenever you want to search, just open Google and give your keyword. So whenever you give a keyword, and the Google is going to extract all the web links, all the web page links, uh, which uh, matches to your uh, keyword. So how Google is doing this? And the results which are extracted from the Google are almost accurate. That means almost matching to your uh, keyword what you have given. That means all the web pages which are retrieved from the search are almost helpful to you. So how this is possible? So again, this is possible only with the help of this machine learning. So whenever you are given a keyword and the keyword is going to uh, taken by the machine learning algorithm and is going to search for the keywords in the web pages which matches to your given keyword. And whenever this keyword matches, that web page is going to pick it up and going to give you as the search result. So this type of uh, accurate search results, very accurate search results are only possible with the help of uh, this machine learning. And with the help of the machine learning, nowadays we are getting a very, very accurate search results. If you compare, uh, if you are familiar with this uh, internet usage uh, from nearly 10 or 15 years back, or today if you take, you can, you can just remember whenever in the previous, previous days or previous years, when you need to give a keyword, you get some search suggestions, but they may not be that much accurate. But nowadays, nowadays, when you give a keyword, hundred percent definitely you get the search results, which are more accurate and they are more uh, matching to your requirement or the keyword given. So this type of accuracy, accuracy in getting the search suggestions is only possible with the machine learning because machine learning is there in the background, working in the background, you are getting the accurate search results or suggestions or recommendations. And now coming to the next application. So Google Translate. So whenever uh, you find this application in very a few times, so generally the people who travel to different uh, places may know this application. For example, as a as an Andhra person, maybe I know some Telugu. For example, if you go some, some Kerala or some other places, you may not able to understand this Malayali languages or some other languages uh, which are not familiar. So generally, if you visit to a far place where you are not familiar with those native languages, generally in the olden days, you may face lots of difficulties because you are not able to communicate with those people. Those people cannot understand your language. Those people's native language and your native language may be different. Whatever you are saying, they can't understand, and whatever they are saying cannot be conveyed to you because the language is different. But nowadays, you need not to worry. You need not worry. You can go to any place. You can travel to anywhere in the world. You can visit any country with some different language speaking people. So if whenever you you spoke with your native language, that that can be converted into the place or into the language where you are visiting. So for example, when I spoke in Telugu. Is there any issue? 
Hello. Yes, is there any issue, ma'am? No, sir. No, sir. It's audible, sir. Okay. No. So whenever, uh, whenever I spoke in Telugu, uh, then automatically this Telugu what words automatically converted to some other language. So how this is possible? So this is possible with one of the technique called as natural language processing. Uh, we simply call it as NLP. And with the help of this NLP, the language, uh, the words, the pronounces uh, which you are spoken can be grabbed and can be converted into some other languages. So this is really a very wonderful and useful application. Because of this application, now you can dare to go to any place, any country. Maybe you are not knowing their language, but even though you can, you can dare to uh, go there, because you have the Google Translate support. If you speak in your own language, it can be converted to any language. So there is no difficulty to go to anywhere in the world. So this type of flexibility is offered by this natural language processing with, and with the help of this machine learning. So this is one of the uh, uh, novel applications offered by the Google. So Google neural machine translation is the thing which works background and is going to translate uh, one language uh, to the other, right? So this is one of the best and uh, most used applications today of machine learning. I'm coming to, this may be a very interesting and uh, maybe very familiar. So everyone is having this uh, OTT account. Somebody is having Netflix, uh, somebody is having Prime, or AHA, our local uh, Telugu apps, AHA, G5, uh, Airtel Extreme. Uh, all these are some OTT platforms. For example, I'm having a Prime account. For example, you say that I'm having a Prime account. And once I log into the Prime and uh, I watch one thriller movie, some uh, some crime killer movie, for example, uh, in that I have watched one crime killer movie and I have watched it completely. And after, uh, uh, when again I log in the next time into the Prime, Prime account, automatically the Prime is going to generate some list of movies which are in the crime killer domain. That means it's going to recommend you uh, the following are the list of the uh, movies which are uh, in the crime thriller domain. Because once you watch the crime thriller domain movie, you may be, uh, the system feels that you may be interested in watching those similar type of movies. So whenever you log in the next time, the app is going to recommend you some list of crime thriller movies. Or for example, if you have watched some a comedy movie or a comedy show on this planet. Next time when you log in again, a list of uh, comedy uh, movies or comedy tracks. So like this. So the system is going to understand uh, which movies uh, you are watching, uh, which movies you are watching it full, or which movies you are skipping. Because you started the movie uh, and you got uh, disconnected with the movie and you stopped watching that. So it is going to track all your all your uh, activities, uh, which movies you are or which movies you are watching, uh, which movies you are disclosing, and which movies you are uh, forwarding. So like that, it will observe each and every activity you are doing with this uh, OTT account. And once you log in for the next time, based on your previous activities, it will come to know what are your likes, which movies or which shows you want to uh, see and enjoy. Based on this, it will going to recommend you some list of movies or uh, some list of web series or some list of uh, shows or some list of uh, TV uh, shows like that. So that means here again, the background uh, hero is the machine learning model. 
So the machine learning is going to observe the each and every activity you are doing on the OTT platform, and it observes and finds uh, what are your likes and dislikes. Then automatically it is going to recommend you uh, recommend you some list of things based on your interest. So this is also one application of your uh, machine learning. I'm coming to this one. This may be useful for uh, most of the people. So real estate price predictions. So nowadays, everyone uh, may be interested to have their own plant, their home, and they want to invest in uh, real estate, or some people want to invest in states. Nowadays, cryptocurrency is a new trend. And whenever you want to invest in this type of uh, domains, or real estates or shades or in cryptocurrencies, there may be lots of apps available uh, in the internet or in the Play Stores. Uh, when you install those apps, uh, when you want to invest in some share market, that app will recommend you based on your budget and based on your requirements, based on your uh, investment and how much returns you expect and what is the time duration to get the returns based on all these inputs uh, these apps are going to suggest you uh, some investment suggestions are going to recommend you some suggestions for a better and safer investments so again all this happens with the help of machine learning so machine learning is going to get all your inputs and going to analyze all these inputs given by you or what are the previous uh, purchases you have done in the share market or in the cryptocurrency uh, domain or what are the purchases you have done in this uh, real estate uh, field. Based on all these historical activities, what you have done previously, the app or the system may recommend you some uh, some shares to purchase. I may also guide you now sell this share uh, or purchase this share, or it may also suggest that this share value may increase in the meantime, or this share value may decrease in the meantime. So better to uh, drop it like that. It may give some some reasonable uh, recommendations for you uh, to get your uh, money invested in a better company. So this is the data. If you just I'm saying that about the real estate or cryptocurrency or share. So this is the data the machine learning is going to work on this and working on these different types of data. So that uh, machine learning applications or mobile apps is going to provide you some recommendations. And these are some price predictions. So when you get the right price, so where you get the right land, and uh, what are the areas uh, where the land price may increase in the near time. So all these recommendations may be done by a uh, mobile application with the help of the background machine learning algorithms. And coming to the healthcare subject, and nowadays. Uh, Pandemic. Now everyone is, is very interested uh, to take care of their health and their belonging, uh, people's health and elders' health. So health become a major and almost the number one priority nowadays after this uh, COVID hit back. So here uh, in this domain also, in this healthcare also, the machine learning is going to give you a uh, lots of lots of uh, uh, applications. For example, it may help you to identify some disease or it can provide you some uh, suggestions for medicines or it can suggest you to take uh, some diagnosis uh, tests or it may suggest you a right uh, doctor or it may suggest you the right medicines also. So once you give some uh, inputs. For example, uh, you have some suffering with the cough. Uh, if you give some inputs, 
So how many, uh, what is the severity of your cough? How frequently you are getting the cough? So like that, how, from how many days you are suffering from a cough? So when you give some minimum inputs, uh, then the system or the health related app will provide you some medicines or it may suggest for a, a clinical diagnosis or it may suggest a better doctor or it also may suggest some home remedies. So all this can be done or now, now they are doing with this, uh, we are now getting with this mobile apps. So how this is possible? Again, the machine learning. So machine learning is going to analyze what are the symptoms uh, you are suffering with and matching these symptoms, analyzing these symptoms, it going to identify the right medicine for you or the right doctor or right diagnosis. So everything is done in the background by the machine learning. So machine learning is now supporting the human in healthcare a lot, especially and now people uh, are depending on these apps after this COVID-19. So people are mostly depending on this uh, uh, smart health apps because if you take some cities or you take some even some normal townships also, people are not getting the time to get an appointment uh, to go to the doctor and visit him uh, personally. So people are depending on these mobile apps and fortunately uh, these mobile apps are giving the right outputs, the right suggestions, so which we can trust and follow. That's why uh, healthcare is became the major applications of the machine learning. And the machine learning, we need to appreciate uh, the people who invented this machine learning technology, uh, which is nearly saving the human lives. So thanks to the thanks to the machine learning. And coming to the farmers, so we can uh, also find uh, lots of applications of this machine learning in this uh, uh, crops and plant domains. So you can get some suggestions on what type of crops you need to uh, you need to put in the particular land and this land. Uh, which land suitable for which crops uh, and what is the right time uh, to sell the crops in the market, to sell the output of the crop in the market and what are the what type of fertilizers you need to use what is the timeline of using these fertilizers so by using these uh, suggestions uh, people uh, may not be having that much of in-depth knowledge in growing the fields or plants, they can take the help of this machine learning. They can give their requirements to the machine learning algorithms or mobile apps or websites where you can get these suggestions instantly on the type of fertilizers you have to use and how much water you need to feed and what is the time to sell that. Uh, crop in the market. So all these suggestions now possible with the help of uh, this machine learning. So machine learning is also helping our farmers. And so finally, so only I covered a glance of the applications. There may be lots of lots of applications in the machine learning. So every day, knowingly or unknowingly, every day, Every human being is at least using one application of machine learning. So machine learning became a part of our daily life, a part of our daily schedule. So without the application of machine learning, our works can't be easy, can't be flexible. So nowadays you are getting your works done very flexibly because you are using the machine learning in the background. And again saying, you may know or you may not know. You may use it knowingly or you may use it unknowingly. 
every human being every person maybe is a student or is a some professional everybody using some application of machine learning so that impact the machine learning has created on the human life so without machine learning applications our daily works most of the daily works cannot be flexible so the importance of machine learning in our daily lives and with this i end my presentation and i thank all the participants for your patience listening and i am open for any queries hello hello yes, yes, yes. Part, uh, participants if you wish to interact with our resource person you can unmute yourself and talk please yeah please i welcome the queries good evening sir uh, yeah. good evening. this is all a very wonderful session that we are listened very keenly your speech Thank is you. so clear and also the informative sir Yeah, uh, all enjoyed the session yeah. we have to enhance our wisdom through your ideas like vpa and so many uh, technology like email spam malware and yeah. uh, we are uh, required typical technologies like you explained very casually and we have to gather our wisdom through your session is really my heartful thanks sir yeah ma'am thanks a lot for your positive words thank you thank you sir that's all sir thank you yeah sir good evening sir yeah ma'am good evening sir i am dr r pandeshwari from shri ramakrishna engineering college coimbatore sir so Hi, your your presentation is uh, is really awesome sir uh, we, i listen uh, each and every word uh, of your presentation sir it's really amazing sir so in future data is only rule as according to your presentation data yeah, is going to rule absolutely uh, yes sir sir uh, daily life is controlled by the data only uh, uh, yes sir yes sir sir i have one query sir uh, please, what please. are the things we are keep it uh, in mind to use this kind of uh, uh apps and also because uh, there is a lack of awareness among the people regarding this app and all uh, so every day they are facing lot of problems so what are the things we should remember or uh, we should understand about this uh, uh, while using the app or uh, uh, any uh, sort of uh, mobile device or system related devices sir okay ma'am uh, thank you very much sorry and thank you for the positive words and uh, this now now i told that knowingly or unknowingly daily any person or every person using some application of machine learning but you need to be careful uh, what type of apps you, you have to use generally what we do uh, we download some app into our mobile or into our uh, tab and we start using that but you need to be very careful that whether this app has passed the security certifications or whether we are getting this app from the certified or genuine play stores or not if you install your app whenever you install any app uh, initially it asks for you some personal information right your email or phone number some apps uh, ask for permission to get the contacts on your phone so whenever you are giving these permissions you need to be very careful some apps may be hazardous uh, they may be look like they are very genuine but they are extracting some very sensitive information which we usually store on our phone so before going to enjoy the uh, flexibility offered by the machine learning you need to be careful whether the app you are using is having some genuineness or not that means you are, whether you are downloading from a genuine or a certified play store like google play store or apple play store like that so don't use apps uh, which you get in the notification sometimes you are visiting a website you get an app notification this app is 
So I'm waiting for some more queries. Dr. Murli, thank you very much. Sir, thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot for giving this wonderful, wonderful opportunity for me to interact with uh, uh, a wide uh, number of audience, uh, countrywide. Yes, yes, countrywide, the people are there, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am here only, sir. Sir, please. Sir, can I come? Okay, sir. Thank you so much, Dr. Murlidhar Kurni, sir, for giving such an effective presentation. And you made some great points on machine learning, how it plays a vital role in healthcare, and how it becomes a major part. Thanks a lot, sir. Yeah, ma'am. Thanks again. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Thank so, you. shall I see? Yes, thank oh, yes, you. Yes, sure. sure, sir. Thanks. Yes. Have a nice so, day. Thanks again, uh, and we'll see uh, in the future for some more uh, things.